So you want to clear up some space or get rid of some software applications on your computer? Don't worry. I got this. Let's follow your boy. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is John Joseph, and I make useful tech videos for home and office. If that's something you, you can benefit from, consider subscribing and turn on post notifications and so you don't miss any other new videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to uninstall a Windows program in a few simple steps. This is going to be a quick one, so let's get into it. Click the Windows Start logo, then click the Settings cog. The Settings window will open up. In the Settings window, you want to find Apps. Click that. In the Apps and Features window, towards the bottom, you'll see some applications start to load. In that application list, you want to find the application that you want to uninstall. For me, it's OBS Studio, so I'll just scroll all the way down to O. They are in alphabetical order, um, but you can sort them by size and install date also. And you can filter by, you know, drives if you add multiple drives on here. But I'm just going to keep them in name order and scroll down to O. All right, there we go, OBS Studio. So I'm just going to click on that application and click the uninstall button. This is just a warning message confirming that you want to uninstall. You click uninstall. What that does is that launches the, if the OBS application or if any application has its own uninstaller, then that would launch its uninstaller. Some applications do not have its own un uninstaller, so it just uninstalls. But in this case, this window pops up and you can just go ahead and click uninstall. These options are options that are gonna ask, if, if, you, if you plan to reinstall the app, then you wanna keep this unchecked so that when you reinstall, you have all of the user settings. In my case, I don't plan to uninstall this app. To Sorry, in my case, I don't plan to reinstall this app so I can remove all of the user settings also. And that's going to run through and we're good to go. All you have to do is click the close button and OBS Studio is removed. And that's it. If this video helped, give it a thumbs up. That's it. I mean, if you're looking for more, you can click this video or this video, or you could subscribe. But other than that, I'm done. Got nothing else. Awkward.